we're at the final stage of um, written communication. And so, you know, you've completed studying the materials we've just discussed. And you should be to the point where it makes sense to bring that knowledge into your everyday life. Because the hands-on is what we're really looking for here. So this week's assignment is directed towards making the process of written communication a matter of your uh, second nature, something you're just kind of used to and you understand it and it feels natural. So as part of this assignment, please remain focused on the major skill related to written communication, which is your use of active and passive voice. And the more you can stay focused on that active and passive, um, it's only just going to help you in all of your communications be it emails, blogs, on and on and on. So for this week's assignment, um, you'll you'll be working your way through the discussion board and writing emails and letters and just about anything you can think of. So um, we're, we're willing to give you guys kind of a hands-on um, program so we can help you guys individually instead of trying to address this as a complete group. So if you guys will pick out every day or so one or two letters or emails, then just blind copy them to module three at aesthetica.com. We'll take that course, we will take your correspondence and actually give you some critiques on how well the active voice is working for you or some examples of how you could use active voice. And we'll send back, send you back comments as to how that's how you're doing and point out any areas that you may want to think of that may help you out. So um, that's available to you guys as part of this because written communication is so hard and this is going to be affecting everything you do with the emails and everything else. Now one other thing that you really want to pay attention to is the scores. Now that you're using your personal proofreader and you've got grammar and you've got spell checking, um, you need to start paying attention to the scores you get from each piece of correspondence you're writing so that you're starting to get from maybe you're at 6 of 10 or 7 of 10 and you're moving better up the scale. You can hit 8 or 10, 9 or 10. So it just becomes something that you can keep working within yourself to keep that grammar and spell checking process enhancing itself over time. So we hope you guys um, have gotten a lot out of this. And this written communication will have a lot of bearing as to where we go next, which is going to get into all the electronic side of how this world works. So we'll um, see you guys on the next module.